A few weeks ago, merong bagong brand of smartphone that launched its products in the Philippines. The name is Wiko, and it's a French smartphone company. And they launched two new devices here. So one is the Wiko T10, which is the budget option. And then another is a device that we actually have here in the studio, the Wiko T50, which is their mid-range offering. So without further ado, Here's our unboxing and first impressions of the Wiko T50. Let's unbox the Wiko T50. Inside, you get the usual documentation, the charger, a USB-C cable, a jelly case, and may kasama pang screen protector. Moving on to the phone itself, so simulan natin sa design and build quality. Wiko T50 uses a glossy rear panel, which is very common sa mga mid-range and budget phone, with a few exceptions. And for me, dalawa lang yan. Either it's cheaper to make or para mas magmukhang premium yung phone. Now, that's okay. Kaya lang alam naman natin na kapag glossy ang likod, madaling mag-pick up ng fingerprints and smudges. Siyempre, may matinding solusyon dyan. Gamitan mo ng case. Like most phones these days, the camera module protrudes. So, hindi siya totally flat pag nilagay mo sa iyo sa table or there will be some wobbling especially if you're tapping the upper left section. Yung sides naman is of a matte finish that provides a good contrast to the rest of the phone. Kung nakaharap sa iyo yung screen, yung power button which is also a fingerprint scanner, and yung volume rocker sa kanan. Sa kabilang side, wala. Huwag ka nang umasang meron. Wala talaga eh. At the bottom, merong USB-C port along with the dual SIM tray which can also accommodate a micro SD card, gusto nyo ng additional storage, a microphone, and the speaker grill. Then finally, we have the headphone jack at the top. Sa build quality naman, the back panel is plastic, which is something that we expect from this price range. It doesn't feel cheap or flimsy naman, so okay lang. Siguro wag nang mahuhulog from a substantial height. Mahirap talaga pag nahulog tapos walang sasado. Ouch! Wiko T50 has a 6.6 inch IPS display with a resolution of 1080 by 2400 or Full HD+. So far, mukhang okay naman yung brightness levels and decent din yung punchiness ng colors. Hindi siya exaggerated or overdone. Siyempre, iba pa din ang AMOLED, pero this is more than good enough. Manipis lang din yung bezels na nakapaligid sa screen, which is a thumbs up. Take note though that this is a 60Hz display. So kung galing ka sa 90Hz or higher, baka makulangan ka in terms of fluidity and snappiness. So yung processor na to is the Helio G85, which is also used by many other mid-range devices and while it's not the latest, it has proven itself to deliver a good day-to-day -day performance and decent din siya for gaming, depende sa nalalabo mo. You also get 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Of course, hindi ito pang heavy gaming, pero so far, kaya niya ang Nino Kuni Crossworld sa low plus 50 FPS setting, and ang Mobile Legends at high refresh rate, and high graphics settings plus HD mode with no major issues. Sa mga magtatanong kung nagiinit yung phone, yes, it does get a bit warm, pero hindi naman sa level na hindi mo na mahawakan yung phone. Malala na yun. Sa camera naman tayo. So, the Wiko 50 has a triple rear camera system. Meron siyang 64 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. I like how diverse and flexible this configuration is, though I can only wish na meron din siyang telephoto. At the front is a 16 megapixel snapper, and ito naman yung mga modes na available. At this point in time, either nagpa-flash na sa screen nyo yung sample photos, or I might also leave a link to the sample shots sa description. For video, kaya nito mag-record up to 1080p at 30fps. Okay na rin. Pero syempre, mas okay sana if may 60fps. Wiko T50 becomes pre-installed with Android 11 with Wiko Launcher on top. I like that this has a very stock Android look. And guess what? Walang bloatware. Meron lang weird behavior yung ibang widgets. For some weird reason, hindi ko malipat ng position and there seems to be no setting to change it. Isa pang issue ko dito is yung camera UI. Medyo nakakalito sa una kasi instead of words, karamihan ng options e symbols. Some are simple na magets mo agad pero for the rest, medyo mapapaisip ka ng konti. Imagine kung ito ang una mong Android phone, di ba? Anyway, last but not least, this phone has a 4000mAh battery. All I can say is that I have a phone that's got a bit more than that and the battery life isn't so good. Pero tingnan natin sa battery test. Medyo mabawi naman sila actually since meron din tong 40W wired fast charging. So far, 
the Wiko T50 is a good mix of things I like and things that I wish were better. Sa pros muna tayo. So, kahit fingerprint magnet, the phone looks great overall, especially the display. So, for simple tasks, okay siya, and it can also deliver a decent gaming experience. Again, depende sa nilalaro mo. I also like that wala siyang bloatware. Okay din yung camera configuration, very flexible, pero tingnan natin yung actual quality. Sa cons naman, hindi ko talaga trip yung glossy back panels, sorry. Sana 90Hz man lang yung display. Parang alanganin yung 4000mAh na battery. Sana nalilipat ko naman yung pwesto ng search bar at weather widgets. And yung camera UI, words na lang please. So, some of you might be wondering, Teka, saan ko ba pwede bilhin niyang Wiko T50 and magkano? The Wiko T50 is currently available in Lazada and Shopee and has an SRP of 11,990. Dapat meron link sa description ng video na to. So, yan ang unboxing natin and first impressions ng Wiko T50. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a reaction and a comment and do follow Gadget Pilipinas on our social media channels. Once again, thank you for watching. Eman here. See you next time.